Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will explore the AWS Elastic Beanstalk environment. You remember we created one in the previous video and this is to see an overview of the Elastic Beanstalk application environment. So we created one Elastic Beanstalk application and now we will we'll see the getting started app environment if you remember it correctly so this is the environment this is the application that we created and uh, if you would click on the getting starting app that we created right and uh, the environment tier is web server platform is this running versions are the sample application i used the by default application that the aws dashboard provided i did not use my i did not upload my code url is this health status is okay and this is the environment getting started app environment you click on it and you see the health running version the platform recent events and if you would click on show all it will give you and uh, the action you want to load the configuration you want to save the configuration sap swap the environment url you want to clone this environment you want to restart the app servers the EC2 instances on which this environment is running you want to rebuild this environment you want to terminate this environment all right so this elastic beanstalk creates the aws resources and launches the application the environment is in a pending state stated status messages about launch environments are continuously added to the dashboard the environment url is located in the upper right corner of the dashboard as i told you this is the environment url so if you would see the configuration tab here it loads the configuration and it would uh, it shows the resources provision for this environment such as the app the ec2 that hosts the application so if you would see the the software instances capacity load balancer if it have if it has one the rolling updates and deployments security monitoring the manage updates is disabled you can modify and update it notification network in the database you can scroll you can have a look at it when you create uh, your environment you want to modify it you can do it it shows the uh, if you would click on health it shows the health the overall status and the this is the instance on which this application is running the zero instance and if you would click on it it will take you to the I, if you would see the let's say you want to see this instance in the app south 1a region so if you would go on to the ec2 instance tab when it loads you are in the mumbai app south 1 region in which you were in aws elastic beanstalk so if you would click on instances here i hope to see that here as well let's see okay see so the name is the getting started uh, app that you created all right getting started so if in case you think okay i have not created an instance how and why is it running here make sure that you check your elastic beanstalk as well this is the public IP of your uh, application that is running on AWS Elastic Beanstalk. All right, then if you would go back to there and you know escape it, and if you would click on monitoring here, this is all the data. So it would show the statistics for the environment, such as the average latency, CPU utilization. We can use this page to create alarms for the metrics that you would like to monitor. Right, so if you would click on the uh, okay, this is if you would scroll up a bit, you can set the alarm status as well. So if you would go on to alarms, you do not have any alarms, you can create one through the monitoring dashboard. If you would click here, go here, 
we have the monitoring dashboard you can create alarms if you would click on edit, edit you can have one here you don't want to do it you want to add an overview statistics description dimensions add it here right get info from monitoring here as well good and if you would click on events events would shows the information or the error messages from the elastic greenstock service and from the other services whose resources this environment uses and if you would click on tags these are the by default tags that got created and it shows the environment tags and allows you to manage them tags are a key value pairs if you remember so key is the name and the value would be getting started app environment all right so this was the exploring section about the ws elastic beanstalk we'll uh, see and we will see how we can deploy a new version of the application to the aws elastic beanstalk and environment so i hope you would do the lab at your end as well and if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section i'll see you guys in the next video till then have a good day ahead bye, -bye.